according to some recent reports, the reason that the Thunderbolts is going through some major rewrites prior to starting production is because the film is essentially a ripoff of Suicide Squad, and uh, that doesn't look good. So here is what we know about the plot of the Thunderbolts, or at least what it was prior to whatever rewrites they're doing with their new writers. And the plot was, a member of a secret organization is putting together a team of villains to come together. These villains do not really all get along, but this is their one shot at redemption in trying to look good for everybody while they work for this government organization. The team is then sent to a foreign country in a secret mission where they are essentially acting off the grid and being monitored by one person in the chair, aka Valentina. The team's mission is a false pretense mission where they believe they are just there to get one thing, but it turns out that the plot is much deeper than this. And instead of just getting sent to retrieve this new substance called adamantium out of the body or slash a carcass of an eternal, there is a secret project that is based on super soldiers that's there to create a all new hybrid of a supreme super soldier that's going to be revealed to be the real plot and the real reason that they're sent in. Okay, so the Suicide Squad gets sent to a foreign country. They have a mission to retrieve some data. It turns out that they're there because there is a secret experiment being run by the government. It's all a cover-up. And then on the way out, they fight this supreme being called Starro. In this film, it would be Sentry. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, <laughs> it's the same thing. Everybody would call them out for it because essentially you're doing the same thing. So they got to change it. They don't want to retread it. And it honestly makes sense. I mean, we were saying, I was saying in videos when I was talking about Thunderbolts and what the plot leaks were saying, I was like, guys, this is just literally Suicide Squad. Like there is no changes here. Like you swap out the names and that's all you get. But they're not going to have James Gunn directing. So, you know, probably won't be as good. That's problematic. So... If they are in fact making major changes to this approach, I think that's a good idea because uh, you really need to. Like, Ray Charles would be watching the movie side by side being able to identify that they're a carbon copy. 